See if it's Parkham. Tarabello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here on Tribune again. Uh, this too, to the right hand side, is my son Max. Hi, Max, and I'm Carsten, and we are here to provide the best strategy battle gaming on the internet. And uh, thus, we play Tribune. This is a very fine game, and today you will see pure cruelty on this board. And you will witness one of the most disgusting manhunts in man, man, man history. I uh, I do not have words for what we will see. Let's just give it a kick. So we began by uh, copying each other, but our plans soon diverged as I uh, seized an opportunity to create a few more riders whereas you restructured your units first i thought you would you would go like this down yep. the center i was preparing to go uh, on the diagonals but uh, it it soon turned out that you are, were actually just reinforcing your center yeah the so. plan of action was just to bring all these dudes a little bit more to the front line But, you know, they are becoming targets now, and I have to deal with this. And that's true. Uh, I'm uh, combining a little bit more. Yeah, and then... opening the diagonals already. Both riders see the entire uh, field of, of my defense, my compound. And so then I seized the middle. You attacked me, but I... I just uh, defend it very simply like this. And we have a little uh, exchange in the center. It was just a simple trade. But for the we time are... being I'm up material. That is true. <laughs> now I attacked something that was not defended. You nice. got it out of the way. Oh, oh, oh repair, repair. Your troops oh. are always in disarray, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's not an Don't army. Troops, I know. Just, just a bunch of, of soulless mercenaries. And I took like this, which hmm. uh, loses a, another piece again. But uh, my plan was to pin you down, like that. Yeah. Uh, as this is behind you, and you cannot move. And actually, this can be quite dangerous for me now you see i'm defending but i'm defending on the same file as this ballista is and this way i'm just pinning my ballista it's not defended at all uh, not sufficiently and so if you can put more pressure on this dude i cannot hold this or or you may be uh, erase this defender and and then it's be bad news for this Equus. And so you went there, yeah. uh, which nice in between move. Uh, you attack me, and you also threaten my ballista. Now, uh, there's a very simple way to instantly lose the game. Uh, I went here, but you could also have gone here, uh, and that would have simply lost against taking here. And I'm defending with two and two, which is at most four. If I take yeah. two, I die. If I take four, I, I die again. <laughs> uh, which would lead uh, us to believe that taking isn't a viable option. I would have to move again. Yeah, and I you would have lost three pieces. And this is at this stage of the game an almost losing position because you have no compensation at all. And um, it's much worse than this. Like, uh, I can see, I can totally see how uh, there could be some kind of uh, hidden threat. But uh, we're not going to get into this. Uh, right. You just simply exchanged here. Yeah. Uh, uh, the way I played this, I had two, two, oops. 2, 2, and 1, so I could take 5, 
from your six, one remained, and you went there. Yeah. Looking maybe to take this dude, Impero, to provide an attack on the uh, Tribune. And this is looking very menacing, you know. Yeah, but, but I, I think this was an oversight. Now, uh, we, we uh, think this would be uh, by far the best move. Yeah. I would be forced to go like this. And then there are many great opportunities, but this would be uh, game over, perhaps. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you, you cannot take as this would be uh well yeah, but, yeah, uh, not, it's not it's a double here. attack i i think maybe going here providing an attack with a riding archer on top and still cutting away these fields this rider is cutting away this field so you have to go here and it's becoming very ugly in your neighborhood but it did not happen i well, instantly true. i instantly took and I went like this. And this gives you the opportunity to become a ballista directly in my vicinity. And I made another mistake. Can you please oh, take back one sorry, step yeah. and another one? Because I had the option between combining here and there. I mean, combining to, an, uh, to a Sagittarius is, is out of the question, I guess. Because it's the best way to prevent you from harming me. But... If I would have combined, let's say, in a way something like this, I could have gone here and I would be totally safe. Whereas, what I did, and now let's jump back to the game, I have just, just block fields here and there. And these two are at the moment already protected by your ballista so the only way to escape would be here but you have a move right it's not according to the rules that i can do two consecutive moves and now you provide the three from the gas station attacking me and i have no escape field so i'm forced to combine further up and this is very very bad so this I, was also a one mover. I screwed the game within two moves. <laughs> and now I'm on the run. Now, um, this would lead you nowhere, so uh, you were right to combine yeah, up. If you... If you uh... ah, okay. Uh, there were really no fields to escape. Uh, yeah, that's a nice metaphor. Nice are in disarray. Uh-huh. Yeah, and this was a metaphor for my type of gameplay. It's <laughs> very bad. <sighs> yeah, usually it is a good idea to become a, a Centuria. Uh, now I'm very threatening and powerful. I can jump over my own units to protect myself. But I'm a good target and seven of my pieces are now stacked below my Tribune, so... I really have not 27 pieces working for my army, just 20, and so I am, yeah, in gross write down material. And now, thing is, I moved my hashtag. One, one could think that was a lazy move, but um, I was just getting out of any taking or emperor actions like this. And I'm also defending this hexagon. You cannot walk forward, uh, which leads me in a, which leaves me in a very uh, safe and secure position. Yeah, I would say there is no way I can slip through this defense here to to reach your tribune. So I'm cut off and sealed off, and now I have to protect my. My tiny little beep, and uh, yeah, you don't give me time to breathe just for a second, not at least. Yeah, so I could take, which would win material. Um, you cannot take, as this would 
to yeah. be fatal. And so you had to uh, do something else. You chose to combine like this, but you just ran into yeah, my trap. This is so... I mean, you will never see such a pattern in chess. In chess, if you provide a fork, you usually move one piece, and this piece attacks the king and another unit, and you can take afterwards. But in Tribune, you can set up a fork like this, splitting up your ballista, attacking the Tribune, and by the way, forming two units now simultaneously attacking one target. And so you still have six points of summed up attack. This is devastating. It's just... Oh, and this is a telephone. I just have to... Uh, go on! Oh. So, uh, another way this could, for example, happen would be if this was here, then I would not have done this and instead something along the lines of this. Uh, perhaps, if, if if this would not be here. This would be a similar kind of thing, but this time you, uh, you I would split up to three things to ultimately beat this unit. Anyhow, that didn't happen. Pardon me. And uh, so there are two ways to get out of a fork. The first one being uh, uh, when you're into one. Uh, you should try to not get into forks, but uh, if you're into <laughs> a fork, then you can do two things. Either uh, split up your units, uh, or and so it, there's no real value to being able to kill a dozen of uh, things, as you're only capable of killing one of, at a time. Mm -hmm which will uh, nerf the whole situation for your opponent. Uh, the second thing is uh, that you can do is you can pose a counter threat that uh, poses an equal or exceeding danger. Um, danger uh, this, levels. Yeah, th this uh, sadly is not uh, possible right not now. Not on this board. You have to move, and uh, but you, you find the... Oh, uh, My, uh, I think going I here, it's um, you you just essentially make sure to kill either one, and um, yeah, but not really because if one of them takes here, is guarding backwards again, and if I take, you take, and it's 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 just disgusting what you did to me. I always thought you were my loving son. You mm. threaten me like this. Now, this is one of uh, the, a, a few times where I can run, run away. Like this. The reason why I never did that is this one is passive. I cannot really do anything with it. It cannot combine, which is a, a, a very big downside. And... Uh, I need to keep up the initiative. Mm. If I did that, I gave would uh, give away the initiative, and uh, I could predict my enemy uh, way less. Uh, by doing something along the lines of this, I, I force and dictate the game. When you go here, I still dictate the game like this. The reason I... Uh, I jumped here again instead of going here uh, is, or even here for that matter, um, I'm not trying to get away with this one. I'm happy to uh, to throw them away. See, uh, there are two scenarios. Scenario one, uh, th uh, the Aquas takes. Mm -hmm. Now, this unit cannot participate anymore. Uh, it's bound to these diagonals, it can barely even uh, combine. And the whole game will be uh, set up in the center, probably. So that would be the reason why this would be a problem, I think. And in the game, you took with the Centuria. And just stepping but one step closer. logic, the corner kills the piece. Uh, 
limited movement options and combination options. Just make the corner a death pit. <laughs> and um, this is the whole reason I chose to ga uh, give up this piece in this particular spot. Yeah, and I will need some steps to get back into the game and defend myself properly. By the way, it's it's so interesting. I was talking about you eventually humili humiliating me and, and tearing me apart piece by piece. And you proceed in this calm tone, just pointing out how to uh, yeah defeat an opponent who is playing well not that properly <laughs> <laughs> and then smiling i like i actually really like this uh, counter attack i will have revenge one day um, uh, the thing is probably you could have even done something like this um which has the added benefit that if i go here you can go here and it's just very annoying to move. Um, yeah, but at, at this point, I have no follow-up. The dark yeah. fields are blocked by your units. I cannot combine there. And the gray fields are also blocked by this instead. So you would be safe on this spot. And see, my the rest... The, let me just point that out. The rest of my army is scattered along. All... I mean across all the board and, and just like throwing some random pieces onto it and just as he's savvy I I will you see one one move to combine these one move to combine these one step one combine it will take an eternal sequence of moves to, to bring all these together to participate in the game it's, it's ridiculous yeah, and so I think the best bet would have been at this point to try to sabotage my development mm. and then run down here and try to win. Um, yeah, but you sent me there into the corner. Yes. This is pure malice, boy. This is disgusting. I, I have no words to describe what you did to me. I mean, it feels safe to be in the corner, but like in the boxing ring, when you are cornered, you, you get smushed, beaten up and... And so I run, uh, I ran away. I take it here. One. Yeah. This is my sabotage. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and now I am beginning the slow combination process. Oh my goodness. Um, by the way, um, one could have uh, done this, for example, but I did not like trading. Mm -hmm. uh, see, this would have left me with two mm -hmm. pieces less, Yeah. which is very dangerous. These two pieces could have made the difference in winning and losing. You need every soldier in your army. That's correct, which is the reason I went uh, about freeing this hexagon up like this. As Setting up there another no... vicious trap. Yes, uh, so there's no threat of a, uh, uh, a trade or anything like this. Now, like this, I can uh, win this piece uh, or uh, unit. This is again a proper fork. That is correct. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're too gentle. And now to, and so, I'm trying to come and get you. But see, you are completely fine. This is... Now, you could have gone here. Uh, but that would have been a major oversight. Um, uh. What the is thing this? Is... I'm disconnected from server. Are you still in the game? Yes. Oh, then please quit. I... Oh, goodness gracious. 
Oh, I, I, I also disconnected. Ah, at least something. <laughs> uh, now you're completely off the game. Oh, sorry, guys, for this inconvenience, but that's life, you know. Uh, yeah. That's how we set up the game, inserting the string. Completely now I am trying to... Where are you? I cannot uh, invite you. Invite me again. <laughs> yeah, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Are yeah. you are you still in the game? No, I need to be invited again. I mean, in the tabletop simulator. Are yeah. you in? in you are in the tabletop simulator. Uh, I I will do something like disconnecting. And while from... we're uh, dealing with technicalities. Uh, we had a lot of strange things uh, happen today. First, Discord just refused to open on my PC. F for like, a, I don't know, quarter of an hour. It was really annoying. Um, then we record the whole session, start to finish. And just, please restart your tabletop simulator, pal. Just uh, to you. learn that our audio was not uh, recorded. Yeah. Um, that would be a nice video. But anyway. Guess the vocals. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Uh, now, then we get kicked off the server, uh, which, you know, also a mild inconvenience. I'm. Oh, by the way, I've launched again. Um, I still cannot. I cannot invite you. I cannot invite you. Well, perhaps we will just cut out this session. So. But why? What is it? The internet is still here. Otherwise, we could not record. Hey, really? <laughs> That makes me sad. Okay. I've got an idea. Okay. Let me hear. I mean, we're still recording. We are here. The heartbeat is still on. <gasps> Max is playing Tabletop Simulator. Now I can invite him. Did you get the invitation card? Not yet. Oh, Invite me again, please. Goodness gracious. Oh, it actually happened. Woohoo! Whoa. Oh. But it Connecting. takes. Connecting. Uh, okay. Uh, I try to fast Fail forward the game. Okay. Uh, A game. Yeah. I'm connecting again. 75. And here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Uh, so, just in case Ow. we... J excuse me. Just in case we uh, cut this out. Uh, no. We had a few technical issues. Yes. And because we did not cut them out, everything is here and can be witnessed. And what the, uh, what the heck, I, <laughs> I really hate it. <laughs> I really dislike what's happening here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot this uh, locking. I, no, I tried to lock it, it but it's, it's, it's yeah. It is locked. Oh, right, let's try. Come on. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Anyhow. Hey. So. Here we are again. <laughs> oh, man. And you combined further. And now it was just a matter of... It was just a matter of attacking you over and over again until yeah. you... My, my guy. This... <sighs> Uh, 
Yeah, that's mm. better. Anyhow, um, now it's a matter of attacking again and again, whilst being very careful not to uh, lead him into my base, which would uh, end in an immediate death. Trying to record the session against the odds. <laughs> yes. And I and still so try to sneak around somehow, but see these dudes here. They are doing a perfect job, cutting away every field and protecting the Equus on the front line. This one reaching from far behind and now stepping closer, a hellish triangle here, protecting, protecting, attacking, leaving me with almost just one choice going backwards. And you cannot go here anymore, very important. And it is a threat to the Aquas. A fork again. I don't think you can really prevent uh, the fork at this point. I think, uh, especially with uh, the time pressure, uh, you, you basically will lose everything as you cannot hold onto everything at once. Yeah. Um, Triple fork. Or how we call it, a trident. And so, <laughs> oh, I took. Oh. And now it's uh, it was a game with my uh, trusty pieces. Yeah, and you could guide your centuria along the long la rope of of this Sagittarius. These are cooperating perfectly. The Centuria always providing defense for this dude, eventually or, or occasionally jumping around. This one also jumping around, giving some threats. And now the third uh, dude arriving at the party. And this was a... I tried to stall you out um, until I, mm -hmm. I could arrive with my further units. Mm -hmm. And what was very interesting is that uh, you have to guard this one. It is the, the last asset you have in your position. Yeah. But um, by maneuvering around, I could eventually uh, p well, yeah. put a little bit of distance between you and uh, your last friend. And what I did here was quite nice. You could have just... even taken here, giving some threat, pushing me away. Yeah, that would But have... I know, that would have left this dude unguarded. Oh. Okay, yeah. that would have been a bad choice. And see, it was my choice, and that's usually a bad decision. Ah, uh, please. isn't. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I, I did uh, something nice. Uh, you see 380, and next move. You see Tick -tack. three, uh, eight, zero, but uh, in a, a different constellation. Ingenuity, Carl. And so uh, the nice thing is it's an uh, attack, and my Centuria is uh, standing on a better hexagon. Uh, this hexagon was a little bit annoying. I couldn't go there, and neither here, and so... Standing here is uh, a much more comfortable position. Yeah, I mean, what what comes next is just a mixture of ingenuity, masterful arts, and cruelty at the same time I never witnessed before. See, now... I sense blood, but you sent your Kavaros back in time. And I mean, this dude, the Cerberus, he was protecting the door to hell. Yeah, and he will protect your Tribune properly, right? Even if it has not three heads, just a gigantic boulder on an arm six string. It's, uh, yeah, it's an argument. <laughs> well, I could have even gone here. But, it's um, disrespect. Oh, I am throwing <laughs> up and and off and and throwing everything. <laughs> okay. Ah. But um, I it was symbolic. 
It was some. Uh, you cannot go here anymore. Uh, it's my, the reasoning behind this. So you're trapped on this part of the. Wait. Uh, you're yeah. trapped like here, mm -hmm. which I personally liked. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to keep being in your vicinity. Now I sensing maybe. Maybe I can can grab another piece. Let's. I mean, to be to be honest, the only option I have, slicing away unit by unit, is the only chance I have to survive. Yeah. Now I take. But see, this is another vicious trap. I can by attacking reach this field here because there was an opponent on it before but due to the movement pattern i cannot step back and if you split up like you did i could attack but now it's defended i'm attacked i have to leave you set up some kind of a short fence i cannot penetrate because here is the, the major pole at the end you are Completely defending with your reckless. There are just two moves uh, that are even possible, huh. which is yeah. kind of savage. Um, and so you went there in an uh, effort to go around my uh, structure here, but uh, you were too slow. Yeah, this is another pattern of hell. <laughs> if you see. I try to slip through the hole, through this gap in your fence, but no, there is no way. This field is taken away. These fields are taken away. Hey, these fields are taken away. Impenetrable, completely. It's ridiculous. I, I was in the game. I had, see, I had four minutes on the clock and he was down to 22 seconds, but it's okay. If you have your opponent where you want him. By the way, I think this was even um, a little bit of an oversight. I think I <laughs> should have done this. Yeah, um, because it gave me the chance to um, run here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm in no hurry. I can just go here eventually and do this. Yeah. Um, and and so the way I, I played this out, it was. A little bit frightening here again, uh, as I had to stop you from uh, running around here. Um, and, and I could have escaped, right? Perhaps. Because now perhaps. there is nothing you can do. Maybe could, you can bring your archer back and he will be in time, maybe. But yes, you're right. Setting up this. Yeah. But, but it shows that trapping a Centuria is at least possible. Yeah, I, I, like, if I did not have, uh, if I did not make this uh, oversight, uh, that would have been a completely forced thing. I even yeah. saw this in the game. I was just like, oh. So it is almost flawless what you did. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, you have just 13 pieces left 13 two thirds of your army have vanished and you still manage to tame this centuria i always believed the centuria is bad news and yeah maybe it is too strong and no if you have the right opponent who knows how to deal with it it's a toothless lion and you did it perfectly See, oh my goodness! Always cutting away all the fields. Look, I cannot slip here because taking away fields here, everything is protected. And now the trawler can hunt with his net and fish me out. <laughs> And now, this is the point of the game where uh, the enemy is completely constrained. 
which uh, led me to a very anticlimactic uh, walk. Yeah, but uh, this, is, this is great. This is really a masterpiece. That's not just some dudes playing music with some random instruments. This is a London Symphony Orchestra playing here in, in one of the famous halls. This is a threat. Yeah. So you close the gap again. There's just nothing to be done. And you can now combine, by the way, the next thing here. If you combine to enhance status, you still provide protection here. And, and you did it. Of course you did it. It was all part of your plan. Uh, and the best thing is that th this one is completely safe as there's a body shield which uh, prevents uh, the enemy and you cannot go here as this is also protected. Yeah. So the second line of defense is completely safe. And you can now bring all these dudes here. I cannot get away. And now you have three pieces left to come and get me. This is brutal. And now this is uh, a pick your poison kind of thing. <laughs> you, you can now do either a thing. You can either go here, uh, which will leave you trapped on these four hexagons. Uh, no, these three hexagons, uh, which is very uncomfortable uh, as you are basically at the mercy of uh, your enemy and there's just nothing to be done. Um, and the the other thing that could happen is that if you're here, uh, there are basically uh, six pieces that are unnecessary. So uh, this one is constrained to these three hexagons. And over time, you would just gather them up like this and then come closer, I don't know, like this. And then slowly, oops, slowly come in. And then it's death. You just go here, enemy has lost. Yeah, the Sagittarius is very appropriate for, for jumping into the kennel. By the way, it, it feels like being the dog in this kennel, just walking around the fence and waiting for what happens. I'm completely at your mercy. No, uh, um, and unfortunately, you are merciless. <laughs> And now I just walked up, uh, you went here, which hmm. gave me the opportunity to seal you in. And if you look, uh, these three have been freed. So basically hmm. what happened is I just gathered them and I had three free unit, uh, pieces again in this one unit. And I just went about it the same way. I just jumped into the uh, the fence and then split up and there's <laughs> nothing and now the last piece of malice yeah and so utilizing uh, zugzwang yeah the thing is y you are forced to make a move you can't just uh hand the board back over to your opponent yeah. And so I could do this, and every move is uh, deadly, and so I won. <laughs> yeah, in chess you could not do it, would be a stalemate, but this is deliberate. There should be no such rule like stalemate. If you are dominating your opponent in such a way, it is completely deserved to win this game. You brought me down, and man, I can just clap my hands. I This is... Is I cannot say it often enough. It's a masterpiece how you hunted down the Centuria. It's very instructional for everyone. And this video should be on the top list for everyone learning Tribune.
to play it properly. Uh, really. Uh, by the way, let's switch back to... Ah, oh, we had no music on. Okay. This time without music. <laughs> Everything went bad in this video, but it is still the best instructional video for Tribune ever. Uh, last words from you. Yeah, so uh, I also liked uh, the game, uh, especially as there wasn't even Impero, uh, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, if you liked the game or the game, uh, Tribune, uh, then um, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, you know, share it with other people. So uh, it, uh, spread the word, yeah. basically. Um, <laughs> a website is in the making. Uh, tribune.org, uh, which uh, would be spelled T R I B U N, then a dot and O R G. And uh, if you're quick, you can see how I uh, well mess around with it. Uh, I'm currently developing it from th uh, scratch, so you will see a lot of template stuff. Um, and uh, the game. Like the the uh, standalone game is in the work making. Yeah, the two D version. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I I think uh, this was a great day. Uh, uh, great day. <laughs> we wish you a great day and a great time. Yeah. And uh, until then, see you soon. On tribune.